Hey there everybody, this is DGAM from DGA Network and welcome to scenario 10 of Roller Coaster Tycoon Tutorials featuring Aqua Park. Okay, so this is a park with some excellent water based rides that requires expansion. Your objective is to have 900 bitches in your park at the end of October year 3 with a park rating at least 600. Okay, so it's free. Wow, that is not going to happen. Okay, let's take a look at the park here. Ooh, snail. We got a few rides that are awesome. Of course, mine are better. Let's see, 533, yeah. A few water slides I've built on previous, previous videos are a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I see. What the fuck is this? Yeah, this definitely needs some... work to do okay water slide crashes a lot in this park and that's pr that's mainly because people don't understand uh, some of these turns need to be tubed that's the point there we go now that won't crash let's see so it goes through here um, I think that one will be okay this one definitely will not be okay it will crash this shit will crash. Underground view. Let's see here. This will crash. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good either. At the crest of the hills, the bottom crest of the hills. And the top crest of the hills definitely, definitely needs to be tubed, or else, uh, especially going at this type of speed, it will crash. I, I assure you, it will crash. Let's see, I think that one's okay. I think these are okay, maybe. Hmm. Let's test that out. And remember, just because you test it doesn't mean shit, because when the guests go on it, the weights of the boats are, um, you know, increased. Therefore, it actually gives you like a different result. If it doesn't crash during the test run, it may crash with people on it, uh, especially during the crests of the hills. But the turns are, um, you know, they're they're fine. But whatever the test run does, then the turns are fine. But when it, when it comes to uphills and all that shit, you have to. Kind of use your instinct. And what is this? Ooh, that looks cool. That is really long though. All right, I think that's good. How much is this? Three bucks. Let's get rid of this stupid sound. I don't need that shit. River Rapids one. Hmm. Okay. Stupid boat hire. Okay, there's a couple of things that you can do in this park. Right now, I would suggest pausing the game and let's take a look at the rides. Okay, so we have four rides that are buildable and everything else is just kind of out there. Hmm. Food courts. I think three food courts should suffice in this park. You can do one here, one over here, and one back here. Yeah, three is enough, and we have everything but info kiosk. And for this map, we kind of need an info kiosk because it's already developed. So let's go ahead and get that first. Shops and stalls. If you're just starting out in a park and it's not like large, it's not this developed, then uh, you don't really need to research info kiosk right away. You have a few months before you kind of need it, but for this park, it's already mostly developed. There's a lot of paths here and there. So go ahead and research that first. And hmm, ooh, mine train roller coaster. I might build that. As I said that I will build a mine train roller coaster and make it a star. So that's cool. I may do that. However, I think Millennium Mines is next. So I'm kind of saving it for Millennium Mines. It, it kind of fits with the theme. Okay. Entrance rate is not going to be free. They can kiss my ass. Let's 
that's not how you make money. And 250, what the fuck? All right, and how much is this? Three bucks. Let's go ahead and turn that down to 250. Okay, in terms of the rides in general, I'd say your priority will be thrill rides, I guess. Throw rides and gentle rides, the little rides, you want them to be spread across the park um, somewhere over here, over here, over here. That's fine. And once you get a moneymaker type roller coaster, like steel roller coaster, uh, so you can build some sort of power launch, you might want to build it here on the beach and extend the path across here. That way, um, you know, the park is in one full circle it's not the guest has to go all the way around to go ride the water slide again you know it's they can actually walk this way and go to the water slide and that's recommended uh, that way you also don't have to build like a chairlift or a transportation ride uh, whatsoever if you want you can but you don't have to because this path isn't that long you know what I mean Hmm, and as for your loan goes, I think it's 20000 So your loan is a little bit limited, but it shouldn't really matter a whole lot. Mm hmm. And, oh yeah, make sure the handyman takes off this stupid mowing grass thing. It's kind of long. Okay. One mechanic. You're full of shit. No way. No way. We need at least three here. It's full of crap. Okay, no security, no entertainers. That's cool. Okay. I think we're good for the first portion of the game. Got my initial observations. Can you buy land? No, you can't, but you shouldn't have to anyway. So, yeah, go ahead and spread out some of the uh, gentle and thrill rides across the park where there are gaps because there's only like four rides in this park. And, uh, you know, like something here, something there, something there, just to, you know, spread out the rides so people don't have to walk all over the place. Mm -hmm. All right, that's about it. So I'll check up with you guys on a later update. Hey there, welcome to June of year one. All right. So, hmm. $20 for the entrance fee was a little too high, so I had it bring down to 15 That's the sweet spot uh, originally when you, you know, start the park. And my food courts, I have one here. I built another there. I raised, or I lowered the land a little bit, built a little food court there, and I also built one right here. And also, I wanted to spread out some of the rides. So, you know, merry-go-rounds over here. Haunted House is back there by the log flume. And then uh, Scrambled Eggs is over here by the river rides. And I just got Swinging Ships. I built that over here. As you see, the first roller coaster you get is Steel. So go ahead and do that. And I just built, you know, Shuttle Loop Type 609. Uh, I like the creative portion of this, uh, the design. It looks pretty cool kind of wanted this to go a little bit lower but uh, oh snap I got go-karts go-karts is awesome you can put that on continuous circuit mode and uh, it won't be annoying I could just build it like over here or over or here yeah this water slide um, I, I think I figured out the problem with water slides whenever it breaks down you really have to reset it and when I mean reset just click the uh, the off button, uh, close button twice, and then everything will reset. And it'll be good because after it breaks down, the chain hills stop working, and then uh, everyone just kind of clutters around here, and they don't, you know, they don't work. So they have to be bumped by another car, so they never get back to the station. It's a problem, but it hasn't crashed yet. I think it's uh, not bad. Oh, it increased a little bit. Let's take a look at this drop. It's like 30, 30 or 40, 35. Yeah. It's definitely going to need some uh, hills, the tube hills. 
Okay. Hmm. Other than that, there's really not a whole lot. I did bring this down. Oh, motherfucker. Get your ass over here. Oh, yeah, I guess they're commenting that my park entrance is too cheap. Nice. But I do have 531 guests. I did double it, and I am repaying my loan right now. Surprisingly, I'm making a lot more money than I, I thought I did because my loan was up to uh, 12, 12 or 13,000. Yeah, that's pretty awesome right there. It's as simple as that. So if you have like a coaster building challenge, like Razor Rocks, that that's an awesome scenario. All right. Also, boat hire, uh, they don't like to return because of this. The supports get in the way. So what I recommend is just build the track and, uh, you know, for the actual hire, just put the supports or the queue, build it over the track and that way they can actually you know get back to the station it's just a problem I always get it says like boat 5 hasn't returned to the station yet and then these fuckers are like I wanna get off mm. mm -hmm. yep other than that it's just like a sit and wait type of thing I mean 900 guests by year three it's not gonna be that hard I'm probably gonna have 900 by you know middle of year two so you just gotta sit and wait I guess alright then I guess I'll catch you later on the next update hey there everybody welcome to March of year two alright interesting well I didn't do an a whole lot but we hmm I did build every available gentle and thrill ride except Ferris wheel because I just got that across the park and I'm making a lot of money I already paid off my loan and I have 10,000 so I'm really just waiting for uh, a roller coaster now maybe I'll get a couple more general rides here and there and then it's time to build a roller coaster I don't know which one I want. Mine Train, I know I said I was going to build it, but I'm going to save that for Millennium Mines, which is the next scenario anyway. And um, if I don't get stand up steel here, I will build the wooden, unless I get something a little bit more interesting. But I want redemption on stand up steel, man. That coaster's pissing me off. Okay. I built a car ride. It's the very first car ride I built through uh, the playthrough here out of my tutorials this time around you know it's okay it's 316 and let's see here oh yeah that right there you gotta be careful on that let's go ahead and do that in here this part crashes right here uh, it hasn't crashed for me yet but I remember it crashing here before so I would be careful here maybe make this tubed you know what, that's what I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to make this tubed. Or better yet, I got a much better idea. Fuck off. Okay. Oh no. Right, now fuck off, will you? There. Hopefully that would work. I don't like how that's shining through. There we go. Alright, we'll test that out. And let me just explain some of the other things. Motion simulator. Uh, I put it here, right by the food court. Uh, hopefully, people enjoy it. You know, if they don't like haunted house, which they really don't, move that to fifty cents. And where's that mirrored around? Bring this to fifty cents. All right, we got a couple more general rides, so we'll just switch to roller coasters. Whoa, belly! I put it here. Um, thought it was a good place to put it, right by the roller coaster. They'll get off. If they got tired of a roller coaster, they can go on the Woe Belly. 
So they're spending, you know, a good seven bucks there. Yeah, three, six, let's say ten dollars. That's awesome. No one's gonna get on this ride either. Or the boat hire. Cool. Okay, where's that swinging inverter ship? I thought it built it somewhere. Ah, there it is. Yeah, swinging inverter ship, that's another $2. You get a lot of good thrill rides in this park quite early on as well. You know, you get the uh, inverter, you get go karts, the inverter ship, motion simulator, wall belly. You get these great thrill rides that make a medium amount of money quite early. So that's awesome. And I have five handymans and mechanics for this park. My recommendation for one of the mechanics is to. Leave him here, just right there, so he will never move. And um, the water slide is, oh, you bitch. Not cool, not cool. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we can fix that. Let's go ahead and fix this. Fuck you in your turns. You can all suck my balls. Ah, oh, bitch. You fucking bitch. Alright. Where is this here? Oh shit, that has to be uh, tubed. Sorry about that. Let's make this tubed as well. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Now we can actually do this. Ah, oh, you mother... Fuck off with you. go so randomly do that all right we'll test that out oh by the way my park entrance is already forty dollars these guys love um, paying money and also they usually carry anywhere up to sixty five to ninety five dollars so they do have a lot of money therefore you won't have to replace your guests a whole lot um, which is awesome because it's already April year two and I already got 900 guests and that number is only going to increase for me because I'm going to be building, you know, a roller coaster here and there. But we'll go ahead and uh, check up on the next update, probably somewhere towards the end of year two. Um, you know, we'll see what kind of roller coaster I build depending on what I get. I'm not really sure yet, but you know, we'll definitely check that out. All right, see you later. Hey there, welcome to October of year two. Awesome. Okay, I um, forgot to mention in the last update that I did build a go-kart, but I was kind of embarrassed about it because it sucks so bad. Uh, it's like 139, and it was actually 0.99, but I changed it to race mode and it finally got to 139. <laughs> uh, it's pathetic, but it's it's whatever. So to compensate for that, I decided I would just build a wooden crazy roller coaster. Again, this is like a staple, you know, I always build a wooden crazy just like a shuttle loop type roller coaster. And uh, you know, I got it to 739, so that's pretty good. 
But like I said, I will try to make sure the stand-up steel would be the uh, star attraction. So I have to beat 739. Set a pretty high standard for myself, and I have a year to do it. I also uh, got the steel corkscrew roller coaster and built uh, a cockscrew. It's pretty cool. 611. Not bad. Uh, real simple formula. Helix corkscrew goes down a little bit. It goes up with some uh, helixes. Another corkscrew and Rap City. That's awesome. So I have two of those. I'm making a lot of money. I have forty-four thousand with no loan, and uh, it's good. It's doing real good. Spent the first year just doing thrill rides, mostly thrill rides. Uh, two gentle rides. I got Ferris wheel and uh, slide. And with, and then I spent the whole time doing roller coasters, and we got some interesting roller coasters here. If I didn't get stand up steel, I was going to do suspended roller coaster because the one on Dynamite Dunes was not very good. It was over six, but it wasn't very good. Hmm. Yeah, and wooden roller coaster was another one that I was going to do. But like I said, I just got stand up steel just now at October year two. And we, I guess they'll give us more roller coasters, but I don't need that. So my research right now is on gentle rides. All right. So. The question is, where to build it? I was thinking of using this patch right here to build the roller coaster, but I also maybe want to use this area here, or maybe utilize the entire uh, beach aspect over here. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I'll figure it out later, but for now, the park is doing pretty good. Um, my entrance is at fifty dollars and nobody's complaining about that and I'm not gonna raise that anymore I have 1165 guests and uh, my ratings are 951 uh, just went down and I had a shitload of throw up so that is pretty good Let's see here people yeah I have a shitload of throw up and it's still 950 so I think and this is very successful as a park so far yeah there's a lot of vandalism a lot of throw up oh well I don't care hmm what the hell is this alright I think we're good and the uh, I changed this around a little bit it goes down and through and uh, instead of it going across like that, I changed it. It goes down and it just goes around. It's much better this way. It's faster. It never gets stuck. Um, I think it's all around a little bit better anyway. It's 591 now because of this uh, crazy mongoose. But I think everything's good. Just remember, um, everybody doesn't want to pay money for you know like gentle rides and throw rides anymore. They say they don't want to pay that much. So you kind of have to lower it down. Like my go karts is like a dollar, which is sad. And some of my gentle rides I built early on are they're ten cents already. But it doesn't really matter because we're getting guests through um, the park entrance. Yeah, we're getting a decent amount of guests. Hopefully, we're just replacing all the motherfuckers that want to leave or ran out of money. And you can always uh, do that. By looking at the guest tab, always look at the guest tab every you know few months, so you can uh, get your ratings up a little bit. Like now, I have a down arrow because a lot of people want to go home. They're either you know just came and they're pissed, or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Is if I build another roller coaster quickly, this will all change. So, unfortunately, I've built pretty much every small ride I can. So. That's why I'm saying save some of your rides. That way when you do get a down arrow, you can just build those uh, rides that you didn't build yet and you'll negate that down arrow. Maybe even convert it up to an up arrow. And this is why I don't like lamp posts because you can never tell when they're screwed, especially this one. That one's really annoying. Yes. All right. But everything looks good right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this update, and we will check in a little bit later. I'm going to go get started on that uh, Stand Up Steel roller coaster. All right, peace out. Hey there, everybody. 
Welcome to October year three. So I spent last year building this fucking roller coaster here, Sand Up Steel, and I also built, um, what was this? Suspended. It's called Suspended Roller Coaster. And, uh, man, these, these two roller coasters are definitely my worst, um, type. I mean, with, I'm confident with every single one of these except Sand Up Steel and suspended oh my god I cannot get these guys above seven it's just bullshit man alright let's start with stand up steel I promised that I would try my very best and look at this crazy mongoose is a 739 it's awesome this motherfucker is a 649 I tried so hard unbelievably hard my god I mean I got it over six on my first try and I was so happy but then Man, no matter how much I extended it out or added a an extra loop or whatever, it would just screw me over and be like the intensity would go over 10 and it would screw up my excitement rating or whatever and it, it sucks. However, it is over 6 so it does follow my rule. I wish it was over 7. I would have been stoked. But nope. Um, you know, overall I am pretty happy with it. Let's see. I'll get into that a little bit later. Let's talk about this roller coaster. Um, I built this after the stand up steel. But I raised the patch here, uh, the land, and uh, you know, built the station here so I can start off with a spiral. Goes up, chain link, goes down, up, and through, back. Fortunately, it is. Let's see here, 60%. <laughs> Makes me feel sick. Yeah, no shit. 797 nausea rating. It's extremely high, but it is over 6. 613. I'm not happy with this. If if I had a little bit more time to do this, I bet, uh, I could probably get it over 640. But, man, not very good at that. Not good at this roller coaster. Flight of Phoenix. I mean, it is better than this one. And it looks like this one doesn't even, like, help. <laughs> Like it's like an eight thousand dollar roller coaster. I'm not gonna pay eight k for a five sixty. There's just no way. I probably spent less than eight k on this. And it's over six, so I'm happy with that. This I spent definitely uh, about fourteen, fifteen thousand. I mean, I I have fifty eight thousand dollars, so I'm totally cool with it. But man, it's just bullshit. Ten thousand. Yeah. That's this. I spent 10k on it. Damn it. Oh well. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, track. Goes down, goes through. Um, on on ride photo goes through here. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's because of these sudden turns. But I'm using the the uh, long curve for it, so I think it's okay. Goes up through. Nice steep hill goes all the way up and around and this is the uh, the long long one so I, I'm thinking it's okay it's only going like 30 miles an hour here uh, goes on through down again up and through used to be a loop right here uh huh goes through over here goes up and around I've tested this shit like at least 14 times through and back down breaks goes up all right Go ahead and do that. Now, as for the park goes, I have a down arrow again because I was so focused on building that I did not care about park management. I was like five handyman's enough. They they can handle it, you know. And now, man, everything's fucked up. They're like, where is this thing? Uh, vandalism, disgusting state of path. And I was I saw litter in your park, vandalism at the same time, same day. They're like, you know, oh well. And these guys are all leaving. They're probably like, I want to go home. Oh, 50 cents, get out. This guy didn't even spend anything. He paid 50 bucks and he got the fuck out. He's been in the park for 8 minutes. What a douche. Alright. But the objective is 900 guests in year 3 with a ratings of 600. I have 11, 13 guests, 60,000 cash. Uh, my ratings are 944. It was horrible. I thought I was going to lose the park. It was like 700. So I was like, oh shit. 
Um, see, I paid down my loan before year one ended, like four months in. So that's good. Let's see here. Look at that. <laughs> Just going up. Yeah, I spent a little bit of money here. Probably about 10, 12K, maybe 15K. Hmm. Park value of 31, company value of 91. So I think I'm doing very well for this park. I built almost everything. I actually used the entire space of the park, except the pool here, you know, because this is really in the air. So this is the park overview. I'm actually really proud of the uh, the park in general and most of the rides. I'm not proud of this. It's, uh, not you. Not you. 649. Damn it. 649 to 613. This is uh, sad. It's very sad. We have an end. It's a 30th. God damn it. This is sad. Oh well. I will still do some more attempts on that. Ooh, vertical roller coaster. Nice. It was a lot of good roller coasters. The next is Millennium Mines. I'm going to build a mine train roller coaster on that one. I haven't even attempted that uh, during any of my tutorials this time around. So, yes, we completed the game or the scenario. Yes. And vertical roller coasters, first time I'm seeing this. But uh, vertical roller coaster is freaking cool. This is awesome. This is one of my favorite roller coasters. This shit is like $8,000. It's really not too big either, the big 90. And it's over six. So it's a, it's a great preset ride to have. Anyways, that's about it. Ta-da. All right. See you later.